Momo no Seku, or the Festival of the Peach, is one of Japan's more delightful traditions. This uh, important festival is also called Girls' Day, and this is a tradition in which on March 3rd every year, uh, Japanese families will celebrate their daughters by putting on display uh, collections of dolls in uh, special arrangements. The uh, dolls are usually displayed on uh, five to seven tiered structures where they'll have a, an emperor and an empress doll on the top and then various members of their court below including uh, musicians, archers, and others. They may even use uh, miniature furniture items to enhance the display and it's a lot of fun to watch uh, the uh, girls uh, assemble everything and get it all nicely set, displayed. The item that I want to show you now is an antique girls day doll. Dolls are called ningyo in Japanese so this is a Hinamatsuri ningyo and it's a very beautiful example of, of the tradition It includes a wooden display base. This doll dates from the early 20th century and is in very good condition. Let's go ahead and uh, take a close look at the doll. We can remove it from the base by uh, pulling it out and you can see that in the base there's a little a hole to receive a bamboo skewer and this bamboo skewer is inserted within the doll's body and uh, allows us to uh, connect it. And you can actually pull the skewer out a little bit and uh, see how it's just shaved bamboo. The doll includes very fine kimono with an obi and the long sleeves here padded with you can see how they're rather thick. On the back of the doll there is a, a beautiful textured fabric here. Uh, paper is also used and uh, wooden carved wooden pieces are used for the hands and the head. You can see the hands here are very detailed long fingers on the hands. These are carved wooden hands. This hand uh, is in a grasping position and the doll may have originally been holding an item which is now missing so it doesn't come, the doll does not come with its original accessories. You may wonder why the uh, doll's face is covered up. Uh, this is very common uh, for older dolls and uh, when, as the, these were cherished items and they were not uh, inexpensive, they were uh, quite an investment uh, for families and when the families put the dolls away they would store them very carefully and one of the uh, steps that was considered a uh, step of uh, uh, it was a not only to preserve the doll but also as a sign of respect was to cover the face uh, prior to storage. Um, this doll has actually uh, came came to us like this and uh, the this is the original covering that was used. It's a washi paper with a cotton wadding and you can see it was tied in the back. Let's go ahead and remove the uh, covering now and we can have a look at the face. So I'll put the uh, all back on its display stand. We'll go ahead and uh, remove this very carefully. When the doll uh, uh, is sold and shipped, we will, uh, of course, send it along with the uh, face cover as, as it was received. Go ahead and remove that. And that uh, shows us the little bit of cotton there. And that shows us the doll's face. Still a little bit there. That's just cotton wadding from the head or fabric. Now if we look at the uh, face of the doll, this is a wooden, uh, carved wooden face. You can see that it's very fine features. And the uh, Japanese um, facial features, the classic Japanese facial features with the uh, beautiful eyes and the uh, red lips there, red mouth. You can see the, the multiple layers on the kimono here. It looks like there's a little bit of uh, fabric wadding poking through the head here. That could probably be covered up with a little bit of care. A very long hair. The hair may actually be authentic animal hair. It wasn't uncommon to uh, use real hair back then. Now, one of the uh, interesting things about these older dolls is that um, the heads can come off quite easily and you can then get a view of the construction of the dolls. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, we'll remove the head now. <laughs> Excuse me while I uh, begin to uh, pull this doll's head off. So just tug gently 
And just like the bottom of the doll, there was a little skewer that held the, uh, the, the doll under the stand. Similarly, there's a wooden, let's go ahead and put this down here. There's a wooden skewer here that holds the uh, doll into place. Now, this that's coming aside here, this is actually some straw. The uh, inside of the doll is actually uh, constructed of uh, dried rice straw. And if we, I'll put that back in, you can just slide it back in. And we can look at the head now, and we can see that uh, the head actually has this uh, bamboo, another bamboo skewer with some Japanese writing on it, uh, probably used to identify the, uh, the doll to the body during the construction. And you can see how the uh, bamboo skewer goes into the head there. If we uh, look on the inside of the doll, looking through the neck area, you can see the uh, straw body within. And it's a simple matter just to place the uh, straw that came back in, came out. You can kind of slide it back in and then replace the head back in place. So I'll just go ahead and uh, put the head back on now. I'll put the uh, straw that came out back in afterwards. And we'll put the doll back on its stand. And there we go. A beautiful and splendid and authentic uh, piece of Japanese traditional craft. Uh, a wonderful doll. I hope that it will make a nice display item in the home of someone or a centerpiece as a collect as a, in a collection of dolls. Thank you very much for dropping by and listening to this description. I hope it's been interesting. Please let us know if you have any questions. Take care. Bye-bye.